oh, casually, I'll just check the plant. Muddy water pouring out from under the door and like dirt everywhere. Pipe burst or pipe came apart under the ground. You don't really think that you're gonna be digging a giant hole into the ground. Look at the progress I've made over the last several hours. I mean, I suspect that something moved, that like the concrete that was encasing it moved. Yeah. So the biggest plumbing job of our lives. David's gonna drive 350 kilometers to go pick up these parts. And, uh, you know, until we have them in our hands, <laughs> we're yeah. not gonna get too excited. Looking like I might have to stay the night in can loops and grab it tomorrow morning. Yeah, we'll have to see. It's all approximate because when you're in a pit, buying instruments, they don't work in the pit. Nothing works. It's like being in the club. Everything gets a little fuzzy. <laughs> Things are getting tricky now. We have to cut the pipe and there's no way we can use power tools here. So out comes the handsaw. Not too many people get their Japanese pull saws this close to a concrete block. Uh, really shouldn't be doing this. But it needs to be sharp. Wow. Overcut? We went into the line, but... Yeah, there's no line showing on this, so should be good. Joint number one. Thoughts on this process? So yeah, wow. it's like full commitment. That's my thought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, so the challenge has been how to get this all together. Since we can't move that end over there, we're using this coupler, which has gaskets in it, which means we can rotate it after we glue up the last part. Maybe. Some showing. Not as much on the bottom. Yeah, not as much on the bottom. This side either. There's one little spot right here that isn't. It's not showing very much. Oh, that's a gap. in the dark so this is sort of like a reveal for us yeah We have some rubber around the pipe and some plastic around the joints and then we're just basically f connecting the original corner block with our anchor block. This is for the main pipe, pipe and it anchors the main pipe. Kind of doing just more concrete and hoping for the best.
hopefully no one ever sees these ever again. No one will ever be here, ever. There's a little bit left in the container, I'll bring it up. finished our concrete, we tarped it for the evening and it just started pouring rain. We're gonna have to let this cure for a day or two and then I can maybe backfill. Bit of a process. Okay, so we've reached the point now where we're starting to think about backfilling. I have to take the forms off the concrete, uh, but I might as well get prepped. I'm gonna need a lot of material to get the ground level back up to the original height, probably 15 cubic meters or so of gravel. So I'm looking at bringing the loader in between these two trees here. It's a little bit of a gap, um, but as usual, there's stuff stashed in the way. So I'm going to have to move this old till rake. I don't know. You guys tell me disc disc machine. She looks like it's in pretty good shape still other than the moss growing out of it. Anyway, got to move this, maybe take that one tree down, move that lift to lumber, and then I should be able to get in here. We had an opportunity with the concrete drying to go in and check our power plant internals. Why not? Because yeah. there's not very often there's no water in the pipe, so we might yeah. as well open things up. What we found was, uh, unfortunately, not good. On a positive note, the nozzle that we were looking for in like the last couple of videos, we found it. Yeah, it's that in there. plastic insert. Yeah, we have the plastic yeah. insert. So the good news is we still have that. The bad news is we don't have enough water even with that insert in. 
so that's bad. And then the really bad news is our turbine is a little broken. It is not good. We're gonna have to take it out. We can't run it like this. It just can't can't be run like this. It's just a mess. We weren't expecting a part two, but there's a part two. Now we really weren't expecting a part three. Uh, return of the broken Pelton wheel. And so stay tuned for part three where you learn all about Pelton wheels and uh, how they get broken and how much they cause to fix. I think we're gonna have to call the shareholders. It's, it's gonna be too much. Things are starting to get expensive now. I hope they all want to keep going.